how to use google kit for wordpress step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using google kit for your wordpress website now what is the purpose of using google kit well google kit is one of google's official wordpress plugins why do you use it well if you're looking to start generating wealth with your websites you can use Google Kit to integrate Google Ads as well as set up Google Search Console, Analytics, Paid Speed Insights, and more that are all free tools provided to you by Google. So how can you get started? Well, simply open up your WordPress dashboard. Now, once you have opened up your WordPress dashboard, on the left, you have the option of plugins. So go into plugins and then go into add new plugin. Now, once you click on add new plugin, on the right, you're going to search for SiteKit Google. And once you search for SiteKit Google, you will see this particular application and it should say it's by Google. Now, over here, you're just going to click on install now. And once you click on install now, it's only going to take a couple of seconds and then you can click on activate. Now, once you have clicked on activate, you will be able to start the setup of your Google site kit. So click on start setup over here and you can get started with setting up Google site. Now, once you do that, you will see to set up Google site kit, you have to connect Google analytics as a part of your setup, as well as sign in with your Google account. So we're going to connect our Google analytics and we're going to click on sign in with Google, which will lead to our Google sign up page. I'm going to be proceeding with this particular Google account. You can use a different account than the one that you use personally. And then after that, we're going to click on select all and then click on continue. Once you've done that, you will see that it will show you you're already verified. Click on next and you have turn on metrics in your dashboard. Click on allow. Then you're going to click on next and then click on next. Now this makes the general setup for google site kit super easy if you do it from wordpress to google instead of going from google to wordpress which makes it a bit more difficult for you to verify your setup now once you do that you're going to set up a google analytics account now i already have a google analytics account but if you don't have one click on set up a new account and then you have to add your account name which will be derived directly from your website name then you will have your property, the web data stream, then the country and time zone. Then you can click on create account over here to create your Google Analytics account. So you'll have to reconfirm your login with Google. And then once you do that, you're going to click on continue over here. And this will allow you to build a separate analytics section for your WordPress website. Now, once we have created that, we will be able to see a detailed analytics page and you will see the overall terms and conditions that google analytics does have and then you can click on go to my dashboard to be able to see your dashboard on the google site kit on wordpress now in google site kit if you scroll down you will see your data will be gathered and it's going to take a little bit of time for the data collection to be completed Below that, you will be able to see the search traffic over the last 28 days. This includes total impressions as well as the total number of clicks that you garnered. Now, below that, you have content dashboards, which allows you to see that what are the top search queries for your site, the top content over the past 28 days, as well as the overall user experience. Now, below that, you have the option to connect AdSense to your WordPress site. Now, AdSense is something that a lot of people are looking to integrate because it helps you in making money. So how can you create money with your WordPress site? Well, by using AdSense, Google will display certain ads on your WordPress site. And once you do that, you can customize the type of ads you want. You can choose the type of ads that fit best within your content. So if you're running a WordPress blog that is about 
home cooking and recipes, you can choose ads that might be relevant to you instead of having randomized ads. And to do all of that, you can just click on connect now to get started with your AdSense account and sign into your Google account over here. Once you sign into your Google account, the next step is to confirm that you want to link to your Google account over here and then just click on continue. Once you do that, this will show you the option to create your AdSense account. So I'll click on create AdSense account over here and this will open up a new tab in which you can get started with the sign up process of setting up Google AdSense. Now in Google AdSense, keep in mind there are certain prerequisites that you have to meet. So you can see, yes, send me customized help and performance suggestions. No, I don't want them. On the top, you will have your website. Below that, you will have your payment country or territory. Below that, you have your terms and conditions. Now, in your terms and conditions, there are a few things to keep in mind. So there are some basic AdSense terms, the AdSense account and services. Now, the payment services, as well as any change to these services as well. Make sure to just take a brief overview of all of these policies and you will see important policies such as independent contractors, assignments, no waiver, no third party beneficiaries, entire agreement and amendments. And you also have the privacy policy that you have to follow as well as intellectual property and brand features. Now, once you do that, click on start using AdSense to complete your AdSense account setup for WordPress. Once you do that, you will be able to get started with ads. So how can you choose the best ads for your WordPress site with the Google Site Kit? Well, first off, you guys will see over here that this is our homepage on Google AdSense. Below that, we have our payment section. So you're going to click on enter information and choose how you want to get paid. And then on the right, you have your basic ad website. So this is our website and we have our wordpress site connected but your site needs to be reviewed so to review your website you're going to click on the meta tag the adsense code snippet there are a bunch of different options where you can go on ahead and add these particular tags now i can just copy this html code go back into google sites click on visit site over here once you visit your site you can click on edit and you will see you even have a site kit over here directly in your editing page. And with that, what we're going to do is we can click on over here and in our blocks, we can go into the block insert option and insert the code for our AdSense account to be completely linked. Now, other than that, in your AdSense account, you have the option to see the types of ad customizations that you can make. So you will have things like fine tuning your placement as well as growing your earnings with auto ads. And we're going to click on get started over here and you will see you can choose to place ads by site by ad unit as well as set up global settings if you're running more than one website with your Google AdSense account. So in this way you can get started with using the Google Site Kit or G Site Kit on your WordPress website. It's simple, easy, and an effective way to get data, information, and money from your WordPress site. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.